Okay, so it's Tuesday evening, second week of COP15. I'm here with uh, Ray, who's from Microsoft, uh, based out of France, and I'm uh, real intrigued to hear what he's doing uh, and his colleagues are doing in Europe to try to help uh, people engage with their own climate uh, and environmental impacts and uh, get a little bit of the power back for themselves. So, Ray. Thanks, Conrad. Um, the reason we're here is that we were asked by the European Environment Agency to try to create a software-based solution where people can learn a lot more, a lot faster, in a lot easier way about environment issues and how they can reduce their own carbon footprint and how they can measure their own uh, carbon footprint and how they can see their local surroundings. One is actually a tool that allows them to see their air quality that's fed by air monitoring stations. Another one is to check their swimming water as well. Uh, 40,000 different sites uh, uh, across Europe. And uh, the best thing about this is that if you disagree with the statistical data that's fed in this, you can actually rate it and feed the information back. So governments can learn about that. It's the democratization of information, if you will. The other one is an awareness on how you can reduce your carbon footprint uh, done with the EA, the UN uh, EP, and as well the European uh, Space Agency. And uh, this, uh, you go through th 29 different um, questions to, to see how you can actually reduce your own carbon footprint, meaning eating less meat or traveling less, for example, and then that is calculated and removed from off the whole global uh, emissions. Okay, thank you for that. And the web address for that is? There's www.bendthetrend.net, and the other one is ionearth.eu. Awesome, thank you for your time, Ray. Thank you.